After more than 30 years, Martin Sheen revisits the war in Vietnam in Vietnam, American Holocaust. Years before he became a communist, Ho Chi Minh lived in Harlem, New York. And the fleet stood off of Haiphong and shelled the city until between six and 10,000 were, were killed. Kill some of them, that's what I want to do. You lost 3,400,000 Vietnamese killed, which on our population base is the equivalent of 27 million Americans. Uh, I mean, it's different from a coup in the Iraq or South America. We all got together and got a goddamn bunch of thugs and we went in and assassinated him. It's a resolution which seeks to give the President of the United States the power to make war without a declaration of war. Now this is an action that we might well wish to consider after the second attack. It was not an unprovoked, deliberate attack. In fact, it's, there was no attack at all. Now we better do that at lunch. There's some yeah. things I don't want to go in with these other. I want to keep this as close as I can. Being in the minority never proves that you're wrong. Be prepared to recommend to you a response, a retaliation move against North Vietnam in the event this attack takes place within the next six to nine hours. It is now known beyond any reasonable doubt that an attack did not take place. Cambodia is the Nixon doctrine in its purest form. Vietnam was in violation of the Nixon doctrine. You mean to tell me an American is a, uh, you know, understand Vietnamese better than a Vietnamese? They want uh, uh, to be your allies in order to have uh, dollars, your dollars. <laughs> we must be willing to continue our bombing until we've destroyed every work of man in North Vietnam if this is what it takes to win the war. When the war actually touched my life, the bomb was dropping in my house. Now, if you brought back someone's ears, you know, pretty likely you had to kill them to get them. And then people would, you know, whoever had the most ears, they would get the most beers, and you trade your ears for beers. Came up, threw a bag on the table, and the bag had uh, 11 ears in it. And he just looked at us and he said, you don't need the 12th ear, and, uh, and walked out. And uh, used to have contests, seeing how far they could throw the bound bodies out of the airplane. And you know, throw one as far as you can and see if you can get the other one farther. If they were running, they were VC. If they were standing there, they were well-disciplined, well-disciplined VC, shoot them anyhow. And I asked this Vietnamese for his ID card, and he said, come biak, and that means I don't understand in Vietnamese. And it just pissed me off, so I pulled out my knife and I killed him. Then I looked the opposite direction where the gun come from then. is American soldier. Was shooting at my cousin make you want to, you know, attack somebody, even though you know that you don't want to kill uh, another Vietnamese because you feel that he might be, in fact, your brother. And narrated by Martin Sheen. Boy, this is going to shock a lot of people.